Hello, America. Here we are in our hometown, which is Waynesville, North Carolina. We've got an interesting couple that has joined us. They were walking along the street, and we thought we'd grab a quick interview with Uncle Sam and Aunt Samantha here in Haywood County, North Carolina. Hey, happy birthday, America. Happy birthday yeah. to America, and Good happy to birthday you. to you folks. Good Great. to have you Thank here you. with us today. Thank you know, you. there really is an, was an Uncle Sam. Oh, of course, yes. Absolutely. A lot of people don't know that. Is there a little history that you can tell yes, us about? Yes, it is. Sam? Uncle Sam was a meat packer named Samuel Wilson from Troy, New York. During the War of 1812, had a contract to supply pork and beef to the Army. They had to dry it, put it in wooden barrels. They stamped the barrel, U.S. Army. Somebody said, who is that? That's Uncle Sam, and the name stuck. No kidding. Thomas Nass drew him long, tall, red, white, and blue, became the symbol for America. Everybody's favorite uncle, America's patriotic patriarch. This is Aunt Samantha. I was going to say, everybody knows Uncle, Uncle Sam, Sam. Aunt Samantha. But today we have Aunt Samantha it's with us as well. Right. Welcome. Well, nice to have you thank here. Thank you. Uncle Sam had to have a wife, you know, because every good man has a good woman behind him pushing. That's true. That's, That's right. True. Keeping him straight. Keeping him straight. Oh, no doubt. She's been keeping me straight 57 years. 57 years? We're a high school sweetheart from Daytona you, Beach, Florida. You would never know it. Yeah, well, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's just good mountain air is what it is. How long have you been sharing the spirit of America with this country? Uh, full time, about eight years. Okay. Uh, it was a hobby that became a ministry after I retired, particularly after 9-11. Right. And, uh, you know, everybody was patriotic then, and we saw flags all over, and now it's kind of waning. And we go around to school, churches, civic clubs, where we get an opportunity, festivals like this, talk about God and country. and how what it means to be American and that freedom isn't free and we're having a lot of fun we did 120 appearances in six states no kidding yeah. that's awesome that's awesome I mean this is showing us a true spirit of America people committed to making this country a better place and helping remind the nation how good we've got it here in this country and that we need to pr protect and preserve all of those freedoms that we have in this Look country your daughter here this world's going to be hers pretty soon ready or not and they got to be ready to take it on and it has to be passed on to the younger generation you know i've been patriotic all my life i was raised during the second world war and I, you know i even had a victory garden back during those days and i cut the tops out of oil cans with a hand can opener smashed them for scrap metal we collected tinfoil and all those things. Everybody pulled together. Everybody did their part. And, you know, that's what it takes. We're all in this together. Oh, agreed. Yeah. Agreed. It's a great country that we live in, in here. The spirit of this country is growing, I think, every day. I mean, there's, it's, it's, it's some rough times with the economy and all in this country. But, you know, it's, it's a time that we still need to work together as a nation to continue to make this a better place you know, to live. If things are so bad, why is everybody uh, in the country from the world want to get in here? because they know it's a land of opportunity. Agreed, agreed. Well, Uncle Sam and Aunt Samantha, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you for sharing your passion for this country with us, and uh, we're hoping that we're going to see you again as you stroll up the streets here and visit people and remind them. I want you to stay patriotic. <laughs>